Hey everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to mask your text under an object in a video. As you can see here, the text appears in the forefront of the screen. But what if I wanted this text to be hidden by the tram and revealed as the tram leaves the shot? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. First, you need to click on your text to reveal the effect controls panel. Then, under opacity, click on this square box to reveal the subheading Mask 1. This blue box with five points should appear on your program. Move the box to the area you want your text to be visible. Use the blue points to change the size and shape of the space. Use your selection tool to move these points. The right side of the screen is where we want the text to be seen. Now, zoom into your image using the select zoom level. It is underneath your monitor in your program and should say fit. Now, using your selection tool, you should be able to make more blue points so the visible area sits perfectly alongside the edge of the tram. Click on the select zoom level again and return to fit. Now adjust the other points to line up with the tram. Move roughly five seconds forward in the timeline and zoom into your image again. Adjust the blue markers again. You don't have to be exactly accurate, but get it as close as you can. And that looks just about right. After that, return to fit. Adjust these points again to line up with the tram. Now they line up with the other blue points as well. Move another five seconds forward in the timeline. Once again, you must move the blue points. Now you can begin to see the letter E appear as the tram moves further left on the screen. Again, zoom out and adjust the other blue points. Move another five seconds forward. Now I'm gonna fast forward a bit. I need you to keep making these adjustments probably every five seconds, but more often if you need to. As you can see, the text is now beginning to show. Now, when I zoom in on this section, you can see there's a pole covering the edge of the tram. Just move the blue points as best you can. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate. This should be fine. The blue markers are now getting close to the edge of the screen. So, grab the hand tool from beside the timeline or shortcut H. Grab the monitor in the program and move it so the blue points are in the center. It'll be much easier to change the points this way. Now, I'll fast forward again until we are finished. There, now you can see the entire text. I'm going to render this video by clicking sequence and then selecting render in and out. Now I'm going to toggle full screen and let this play out. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram or visit me at my website. All details are in the description. I hope this helps. Bye.